Hi, my name's David, and I'm here to show you how to set up Indonesian tax in Descara Books. First, we're going to click Set Up Your Own Organization. Inside here, we're going to select the Tax Registry. We can change our reporting currency. We can change the financial start date. And we can change the book beginning date. So, for example, April 1st. And then we can click Create. Congratulations, your Indonesian organization has been successfully set up. Let's explore the app first. Let's click on Settings, and let's click on Organization Profile. Next, we're going to click on the pencil icon. And inside here, we can see the organization name, tax registry, and the date format. And we can change the date format here. Next, let's go to Finance. Inside here, you can see your financial start date, book beginning date, reporting currency. You can select the number of decimal places you want and the number format. You can also enable multi-currency, for example, Singapore, and let's select Australia, and let's save. Next, let's go to Compliance. In here is where you put the NPWP number. So you put in the number here. You can also activate excise, and you can choose the excise account here. So for example, excise tax payable. Next, let's go to Address. Inside here, you can input the address, and a little box will pop up where you can auto map. If it does not show correctly, you can always just update it as well, directly on the screen. And then you click update. Now you can see all the information has been updated. Next, let's click on settings, and let's click on tax. Inside here, you can see name, description, percentage, tax code, account, name, type, and visibility. If you wish to disable this tax type, you can click the eye icon. If you wish to enable it, you can click on the eye icon again. If you wish to add a new tax type, you can click Add Tax. Next, let's go to Settings, and let's go to WHT Rates. Inside here, you can create the custom WHT Rates. You can do this by clicking Add Rate. Inside here, you can choose the nature of the income payment, residential status, is it residential or non-residential? The WHT rate, so for example, 2.5. The accounts payable and the accounts receivable. And then you can save. After that, you can see the rate has been added. Next, let's click on settings. And let's click on currency. Inside here, I can see the currency, code, symbol, exchange rate, exchange rate date, visibility, and action. If I wish to activate currencies, for example, the franc, I just can click on the eye icon. If I want to activate multiple, I can select multiple and click activate. If I want to deactivate an individual one, I can click on the eye icon. If I want to deactivate multiple, I can select them here and click deactivate. If I want to change the rate, I click change rate. And this is where I can update it. So for example, and I can save it. If you'd like to view the rate of the currencies that are currently hidden, you can click View Rate. Inside here, you can see the exchange rate, effective date, and timestamp. Next, let's go to Contacts. Inside here, you can see Add Contact and Import Contact. Let's add a contact. Let's input the name. We can input the email address. We can select the currency. In accounting, we can choose the payment terms, the payable count, receivable count, put in the customer tax type, vendor tax type, and input the NPWP number. You can also input the NIK number. You can select the residential status as resident or non-resident. You can input the address, and you can save. Next, let's go to products. Inside here, you can create a product and import a product. Let's create a product. Inside here, we can select the type of product it is. Is it a non-track, tracked, or bill of materials? We can put in the name. And if it's a non-track product, you can select the nature of payment. If it is a tracked or bill of material product, is it an excise product? You can then select the excise type, which is value per UOM, or percentage on product cost, and you can input the rate here. 
Next, let's go to accounting. Inside here, you can put in your purchase account, purchase tax, sales account, sales tax, sales return account, purchase return account. You can also put in the purchase price and the sales price. These are the defaults, and the defaults will then show when you create a buy or sell transaction, which you can modify later. Under inventory, you can select the unit of measurement, cost of goods sold, inventory account, stock adjustment account, opening quantity, opening valuation, and select the warehouse. This, of course, is only for tracked. If it's a non-tracked in inventory, you'll only see unit of measurement. Now you can see my product has been created. Next, let's click on bank. Let's click on add bank account. Inside here, I can enter my bank name and my description. And then I can save and next. Now, if I want to connect to my bank, I can input the bank name here. Select it. Input the user ID and PIN and password. And then I can click proceed. If you do not wish to connect your bank, you can always click skip. And the bank has been created successfully. Next, click on sell. And let's click on get paid. Inside here, you can select the payment date, the payment and currency. You can select the bank, and you can select the payment type. You can choose the reference date and the reference number. But the key thing I want to show you here is that there's a checkbox, is this WHT applicable? And you can click this, and you can click next, and then you can click receive. And you can click close. Next, let's click on reports, and let's click on the VAT in report. Inside here, you can see all your different types of purchase transactions. In VAT out, you'll see all your different types of sales transactions. In sales transaction summary report under WHT, you'll see all your transactions where you made payment and click the checkbox, is WHT applicable? And let's click on purchase transaction summary report and it's the same thing, if you made a payment, and you click the checkbox, is WHT applicable? It will show up here. Uh, one last thing, inside here, if you click on this box, you can see Bahasa Indonesia. If you click on it, you can see all the different tabs and fields have changed. And that was a quick look at how to set up Indonesian tax in Descara books.